गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस या इन क्लास 17th लेसन राइट व्हाट वाज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग पॉवर्टी सी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस व्हाट डज मीन बाय पॉवर्टी एंड हाउ पॉवर्टी लेट्स टू वर्क टू द क्रोनिक पॉवर्टी राइट एंड ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस रामाचारी एंड चंद्रया एंड बीएमआई एंड दो ऑल दोस इज इंडेक्स ऑफ द किलो कैलोरीज हाउ मच वी हैव टू बी टेक एंड अर्बन एरियाज एंड द रूरल एरियाज पीपल राइट now in this session we are going to discuss why poverty right and how can the we can the escape from the poverty how can we can escape from the poverty right this all those things we are going to discuss in this today's class right see the poverty everyone everyone knows we have to be live a life we very uh, nicely and frequently right but sometimes the poverty leads to work to the very kind of the depression right where is the the kind of the depression and the all those things right see the why poverty means we have to be educate we have to be provide some kind of the work and and we have to be provide our fellow citizens that poverty those who are in the poverty those who don't shouldn't be the the fall in the chronic poverty they shouldn't be the fall in the chronic poverty right the chronic they shouldn't be the fall in the chronic poverty right the chronic poverty mean the chronic poverty mean the daily what they have the capacity what they are eating capacity is not sufficient to eat daily and that kind of happen in the continuously days so that kind of the poverty leads towards the chronic poverty right so we have to be provide them we have to be provide them the kind of the work we have to be provide them kind of the the pds system and different aspect in the different way we have to be encourage them we have to be encourage them right and not only we have to be provide encourage and uh, giving to the sources and job and also the agriculture the agriculture sources also we have to be provide right when the people have to engage with the work so they can get something uh, something what they are doing the work so that kind of the whatever they are the getting that can be the they can eat they can eat the sufficiently and they can feed their family sufficiently so this kind of also the agriculture sector also we have to be the one one as, aspect to let's the people through out the week in the back out the poverty we can back out the poverty we can as much as we can the people we can the they came out for the property right the agriculture the agriculture sources of the livelihood right the many kind of the many kind of things we have those who are the laborers those who are the any kind of the workers those who are this special in the sugar cane when it comes to the sugar cane kind of the crop the uh, even god the, the kind of the the manpower is must needed the manpower is a must needed so this kind of the when the manpower is needed this kind of need for the labor and they can provide something up for the the any kind of those always we can say the the way right the labor pay so this kind of the sources of the labor the sources of the uh, agriculture sector this can be led over to the below the poverty and the directive principle of the state policy so we in indian constitution we have rights right we have the rights agriculture right we have the fundamental rights all the things fundamental duties also but among them also we have the directive principle of the state policy what i mean by directive principle mean this principle the directive principle we get may might be the state should be follow or it might be not the the court doesn't involve in the have to be right but what about the other thing if you if the fundamental right is doesn't follow any kind of the state the supreme the court has to be give the rights right it have to be follow you have to give the order but when it comes to the directive principle the kind of the right is doesn't have the any kind of the court right according to the directive principle um, the principle are uh, directive principle of the state policy the article 41 the article 41 very important this one article 41 says the right to work article 41 says the right to work each and every fellow citizen they have the right to how they have the right to live they also have the right to work also they also have the right to work right the right to work also the, this right to work means if they don't have is not getting the, any kind of the any kind of the work then what will happen the government the government should provide the work to the their citizens the government has to provide the work to the their citizens this is a right to work so among them according to uh, directive principle and according to article uh, 41 right to work the government has decided to the give the work to the the 
fellows and citizens man manrega what is meant by the manrega mahatma gandhi rural employment guarantee act mahatma gandhi rural employment guarantee act according to the manrega the wage and those who are the bpl those who are the seeking for the poverty they can get the work and they can get the pay and they can sustain the survive right in next section we will discuss about the manrega right i hope you understood this session thank you